Hey, so when we're um, ready to start shooting our stop motion, in most cases it's really important for the camera to be still. I might try to make one little example where we can do something else, but uh, normally we want to keep it still. And so what I'm going to try to do, I, I just want to show you a couple of quick little ideas on doing it. Obviously, the coolest thing is to have a tripod that's going to hold it. Uh, most people don't for their cameras, but if you have a selfie stick, you can always strap that or rubber band it or tape it to something or clamp it to something. It all depends on, upon what you have. And then that's a way that you can keep your camera very still while you're shooting. Um, a couple of, well here, check this out. I'll show you what I'm going to try to do. I'm uh, going to go ahead and open my stop motion app. Uh, so that I can see what's going on. Um, I'm going to flip it this way. This. Now the problem is that when I start making exposures, I have to reach over here and push this, and then I can knock that over. So, so I might be able to, you know, block it up like this. Remember, I just want to do things so that it's not going to get, you know, uh, that, I, that I'm not blocking the lens here. So this way I might be able to, come on. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, it's the worst idea in the world. There was that one. I can move this a little bit. All right, not digging it, not the best idea in the world. Um, here's another one. I am going to attempt to hook it to this. I have a couple of hair ties. And so we'll see if I can just, oh, for Pete's sake. I'm going to attempt to, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hook these together, I think. Simple little, not like that, shebang. And then I'm going to do once around this, through this tape, or you know what, I was thinking about trying uh, something like this. If you found a can out of the cupboard or anything, that would be fine. So now this will stay up. What's going on? I need to cancel this. I need to open this. So now I have this. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to open my stop motion. Bam. Here we go. Now I might have kind of the same issue um, in that every time I push this, it's danger. The danger is that I'm going to move it just slightly so here's another really cool option that it has here so that won't happen there's a timer button here I'm going to set this at three seconds till it I'm done and now when I hit this I can see when it it exposes. Woo! Gotta make sure you get out of there. Also be conscious of your shadow. So if you have a light behind you and you're getting in there constantly, then you might be casting a light on your piece. And so it's kind of just a matter of rhythm here. 
All right. Oh, I'm really interested in seeing what I just made. It's a masterpiece. I need to talk a little bit about focus and exposure. Right now, I'm, I'm just developing an idea, but I need to steady the camera, and so I try to do that. I also simplified the background by uh, just simply limiting how much I can see. I'm pulling extra stuff out of it in a moment. But one thing I want you to notice is how washed out that little object in the center is. Notice that there just seems to be too much light on it. And that's because the way that a camera's exposure works, this right now is automatic exposure, it's trying to take all the darks and all the lights and average them together. Now watch when I put my hand in here, what happens to the exposure. My hand is going to change the average that the camera is reading and so now the camera reads light differently because I have my hand which is mostly middle tones in there. When I pull my hand out it's going to become washed out again probably and uh, so the way that I fix this is through changing the exposure from automatic to manual. We have plenty of controls here but I want to deal with the camera controls that's in the upper right there I'll click that. Now I'm going to work with the sliders at the lower right. And when I push those, you see that we have a number of controls. Here's the zoom. That's kind of self-explanatory. So you can change your composition a little bit with that. Oh, let's see. There's a few camera controls. But what I'm really interested in is this one right here. So this will control our focus and exposure. Notice that autofocus and auto exposure will just do whatever the camera wants and so you're giving up your control when you use those. We can of course uh, go to either one of these. This one you uh, tap where you want the stuff. It's a good easy solution. Um, this one you will control your exposure but then you would have to continually tap where you want the focus. And so I like to go full manual. So I hit the M right there. This control has to do with white balance. It's just trying to figure out what kind of light you're using. You really only have to worry about this if you have some real weird colors. All right, so now we're into focus. So notice I have a sliding scale and I can decide where I want my focus to be. And so basically I just focus right on this area here. Oh boy, I probably should have said exposure first because it's difficult to see. All right, so ISO has to do with how sensitive your camera is to light. And now we're into shutter, which is you see it's really affecting how much light your camera is taking in. Um, we can move that on the sliding scale until we get the exposure that we want. Cool, Jules. So now we've set up our focus. And uh, you see that we have a good focus right here at the center. If we move this farther away, it falls out of focus. If we pull it closer, it'll fall out to an extent the closer we get. Now, we can actually use this to our advantage. And here's how. When we want something to be less important, but we still want it to be in. Notice I can move an object away from our focal point, which is where our focus is, and it's going to be out of focus. It's still in frame. It's still important, but the, we can see the most important thing is the object that's in focus. And so this is one trick that we use uh, to draw our viewers' attention.